Recently, I hit the one year mark of owning my workhorse pits. And I gotta tell you, over the last year, you guys have had a lot of questions. Today, I'm answering the top five. What's up, barbecue fans? Welcome back to the patio. My name's Jake, you're watching Offset Rookie. Today on the channel, we're talking about all the questions that you guys asked. Now, let me tell you, it's only been a year and between emails, comments and videos, DMs on Instagram, you guys have got a ton of questions about offset cooking, which is great. I'm happy to answer all your questions. Today, what I decided to do is I would answer the top five. These five are common questions that I get over and over again, so I just thought I'd answer them. The number one most common one is, how much wood do you use per cook? This is a difficult one to answer. There are a lot of variables there. You know, you can look at things like size of wood. This is significantly bigger than this piece, right? And when you cut wood, it's always gonna be a different size. There is moisture, right? How damp the wood is, how much moisture is in that wood. There is wind, which I recently learned <laughs> more and more about the hard way. There's types of wood. Right, different, different types of wood burn differently. Uh, you know, there's a, there's a lot of variables in it. Then you start to look at temperature, right? Was I running at 225 for the entire cook or was I running at 275, did I do a mix? So it's a really difficult question to answer. The best way that I can answer that, that question is that you should budget for a new split every 25 minutes, right? Some are gonna be longer, some are gonna be shorter, but that's really a good timeline to use and to answer it even clear. We've done 41 cooks and although I used a little bit, I've had a couple fires so I did use you know a few splits there but I've gone through a quart of wood in one year. So that gives you an idea. You know 41 cooks, one year, one quart of wood. That's your answer. The second question I get a lot of is, Jake, where do you get your wood? And that one's difficult. I actually spent a long time Googling and driving around looking at places. Now there's a place right around the corner from my house that has piles and piles of wood. However, they're just stacked on top of each other, not even stacked, just dumped out of a dump truck and thrown on the ground and it's all gray and it just doesn't look like wood that I really want to cook with, just the way it's stored. Uh, and you know, some of it is probably rotted a little bit, just the way it's stored, been around for a little while. So it, it, you know, I didn't want to buy something like that. But when you're searching for cooking wood, it's difficult to find, I found on Google, at least around me. So what I ended up doing was going to a landscaper who has a, fi a firewood business and he promotes it as firewood and, and cooking wood. And it's actually, it's kiln dried wood. Now, there are lots of people in this community that swear up and down that kiln wood is terrible and you should have naturally seasoned wood. And the theory here is, is that when it's naturally seasoned, you still get a lot of the sugars in the wood and it adds more flavor. Now, I have not tried naturally seasoned wood so far uh, because it's not really a great option uh, for me. I haven't found any place. The one place I found, I had to put it in order a year in advance and like I, I can only store half a quart at a time. So, you know, this place that I'm using now, it's kiln dried. They actually kiln dry it to order. So it's organic cooking wood and it's kiln dried and then it doesn't touch the ground again until it's brought to me. So it's nice, uh, the flavor, for my taste has been great. Now I have not had side by side, so I don't know if there is a difference. I would love to try some, but right now it's not readily available. And I'll tell you what, around me, it's expensive. Like 525 for a half cord. Now I've told people that price and they've almost died. <laughs> Apparently it's outrageous. Now I, I just don't have any other options. Now I will say that cutting edge firewood, uh, they deliver some wood. It is, uh, again, it's gonna be expensive if you don't have any options near you, but they have some packages and uh, you can get free shipping and everything and they'll send you some wood. It's, it is good wood. I use their, their chunks for my um, Kimono Kamado and I've used some of their other wood for my, my pizza oven. It's great stuff. Workhorse Pits now has a sister company called American Cooking Wood. They are delivering wood, uh, but it's only commercial right now. My understanding is that they're planning on going to residential. I heard they're gonna buy a place that's outside of Virginia or they've recently purchased it. Uh, and you know that might ship to me, more people on the East Coast. The other place is, is more Southern around Georgia. They've got two different places, so they might start shipping some wood, although I don't really have any details. That's uh, hearsay more than anything. Um, 
and you know shipping wood is, is going to be pricey so you know find a landscape or someone that's got a firewood business and and i think that's your best bet you know you may live in a place where you can actually you've got some property and maybe you've got some some cooking woods and you can just cut down a tree and you can season it yourself in your on your property I don't have that ability here. Uh, you know, obviously I've got some property, but it's half acre and I don't want a whole bunch of wood <laughs> laying around. I just don't have the setup for it. Uh, so I order half, half a quarter at a time and pay an arm and leg for it. It is what it is for now until I find another source, uh, but I am actively looking for other sources. So uh, hopefully I'll find one uh, sometime that's a little bit cheaper. Number three is all about the Cowboy Grill and people want to know two things about it. Number one, does it leak? Which, no, it does not. Uh, and number two, would I get it again? Or do I? Use, how often do I use it? And for me personally, I like it. I've used it, I don't know, 10 or 15 times. And sometimes I'm just, uh, you know, <laughs> it's a new toy. So I've definitely fired this up to cook some steaks. Sometimes just for me, sometimes I've got some company over and then I've used the Cowboy Grill to sear some steaks. I did a video here where we did a whole New York strip and we cut it into steaks and seared it that way. Done things like that. I've done, what else have I done on it? I've done some chicken on it to finish it off. I like it. And do I use it all the time? I mean, obviously I've got other grills and smokers I can use, uh, no. But I do have it and if I was ordering this again, I would definitely order it uh, because I do like having it and like the flavor you can get off of using it. Number four, and for this one, there's even a hashtag, hashtag worth the wait. The question is, if I order one today, is it worth waiting six to eight months? Now look, we live in a society where you pick up your phone, you go on Amazon, and whatever you order, in a lot of cases, you can have it the next day. Sometimes, especially in my case, because I've got some local Amazon warehouses, I can have it the same day. And, you know, pretty much anything you buy online has got free shipping. It's often in two day. So, you know, we're used to getting things very, very quickly. And look, I have the same issue, right? I recently ordered something and it hadn't even shipped and it had been a week and I was like, I emailed them and said, hey, I just want to see when this was, would ship. Normally, we never used to care. Today, we want it right away. With this thing, because they're handmade and they only build about 80 a month, last I heard, there's a long waiting list. I waited six months for mine. I think right now it's up to eight months. And, you know, as I was recently talking to someone in Instagram and my DMs are like, you know, I've been thinking about one for a while. Uh, it's eight months. I have a really hard time paying three grand and waiting eight, eight months for something. And I'm like, well, it is what it is. I mean, yes, there are other options out there that don't take as long, but there's a reason why this one takes so long and they just have a lot of orders, right? It's, it, is, it is a good product. And to answer your question in one single word, is it worth the wait? Absolutely. The fifth and final question I get asked a lot is, knowing what you know now, would you buy it again? The quick answer is yes. Yes, I would. Now, recently I did a video on the five things that I love about my workhorse pit. I also, to complete the series, did a five things I hate. And look, that's what it is. It's a series. There's five you love, five you hate. Now, to be perfectly frank, many of those I had to nitpick just so I could come up with five, right? There, are, there is nothing about the pit that I hate. The only thing that, I, that I, I've picked on a couple times is the fact that the co cover fades. And does it work? Does it do its job? Does it protect the pit? Yes, yes it does. The only thing I don't like about it is that it, it fades uh, because of the material it's made out of. If it was made from Sombrello, like, you know, see this cover here? This is black. It's three years old. It's been sitting out in the sun the entire time. It's as black as it was the day I bought it. Um, you know, it's, a it's made from Sombrello materials designed to sit outside. That's a very small thing to be worried about. And it's the only thing that I don't like about the pit. So take that for what it's worth. Um, I have absolutely no regrets. As I said in the worth the wait thing, is it worth the wait? Absolutely. Uh, there's really, there's nothing for me to nitpick on it. Uh, I've been thrilled with the learning experience. It's been a year. It's been 41 cooks. I've used the heck out of it. Uh, I've cooked with it many, many weekends. And sometimes I've cooked on it back to back a Saturday and Sunday, but most times I use it on, on the one day. So 
uh, I've put it through its paces in the last year. I'm absolutely thrilled with it. I would definitely buy it again. Look, there's some competitors out there that are high quality products. Would I, knowing what I know now, go in a different direction? No. No, I think that I'm happy with it. The price point is phenomenal when you start to look around. Yes, there's a wait, but you know, when you start to look at the quality, I mean, go look at my six month review video and just look at you know, some of the welds and the overall quality, the fit, it doesn't leak, right? It's just, it's a well-made pit and it's absolutely a wonderful pit to use. It's stable and I love it. I've got no complaints, so yes, I would definitely buy it again. So there it is, my five most commonly asked questions. I get them a lot, so I figured it was time to do a video on them. Look, I have no problem with you DMing me on Instagram, shooting me an email, drop me a comment in the video. I love to answer your questions. I'm here to help and I don't have a problem answering the questions. However, because these questions were asked so much, I decided I would turn it into a video just to be helpful for you. Hopefully you got some value out of it. If you're not subscribed yet, do so below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks as always for watching. I'll see you soon.